Greetings, fellow detectives, and welcome to Boiler Room Detective. Adjusting the PA404 Steam Pressure Control The Honeywell or Residio PA404 model is a common pressure control used on low-pressure steam boilers. It is primarily used as an operating control, which means it will start and stop the boiler to maintain the desired steam pressure. Since it does not have a manual reset feature, it should not be used as a high pressure limit cutout control on commercial boilers. The PA404 controls are available with two options, additive or subtractive. To tell the difference between the two, the additive version will have a cut-in printed on the front of the control. The subtractive control will have cutout printed on the control. The following is an example of how to adjust the control to operate the boiler between 1 and 3 PSI for an average steam pressure of 2 PSI. Setting the additive version. Looking at the front of the control, there will be a vertical scale on the left side. On that scale is a small metal horizontal bar. The bar shows the pressure setting of the control. This is the minimum or cut-in pressure of the boiler. The control will keep a minimum steam pressure at or above the set point when the boiler is energized. On top of the control is a silver screw with a slot. You adjust the steam pressure using a flathead screwdriver. If you turn the screw clockwise, the pressure will increase. If you rotate it counterclockwise, the pressure setting will lower. To adjust the shutoff or differential pressure on the control, the cover must be removed by unscrewing the screw on the front of the control near the bottom. Inside, you will see a white plastic dowel set at an angle. This is called the differential knob. On the knob, you will see numbers. This is how much pressure you add before the boiler shuts off. For example, if the cut-in pressure is 1 PSI and the differential knob is set for 2 PSI, the control will operate the boiler between 1 and 3 PSI steam pressure for the duration the boiler has a call for steam. A minimum differential of 1.5 PSI is recommended. When done, reinstall the cover and screw. Setting the subtractive version. Looking at the front of the control, there is a vertical scale on the left side. On the scale is a small metal horizontal bar. This bar shows the pressure setting of the control. This is the maximum or cutout pressure of the boiler. When the boiler is energized, the control will shut off the boiler when it reaches a set point of the control. On top of the control is a silver screw with a slot. You adjust the steam pressure using a flathead screwdriver. If you turn the screw clockwise, the pressure will increase. If you rotate it counterclockwise, the pressure setting will lower. To adjust the starting or differential pressure on the control, the cover must be removed by unscrewing the screw on the front of the control near the bottom. Inside, you will see a white plastic dowel set at an angle. This is called the differential knob. On the knob, you will see numbers. This is how much pressure below the cutout pressure you would like to operate. For example, if the cutout pressure is 3 PSI and the differential knob is set for 2 PSI, the control will operate between 1 and 3 PSI for the duration the boiler has a call for steam. A minimum differential of 1.5 PSI is recommended. When done, reinstall the cover and screw. If you would like to contact me, my contact information is here. In addition, I have two websites. Brewingwithsteam.com has my monthly blog post on steam systems for breweries, and Fire Ice Heat is my company website. I have written 11 books on boilers, and they are available on Amazon. 
In addition, you can find some of my writings in these fine publications. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective, and I hope to see you on the next case.